That's what we're going to do now, back exercise. So we bring the bench back down to flat. And Katie, there's a little controversy on this exercise, too. Uh, the controversy is, well, you know, should we put the knee up on the bench or should we be here? My contention is you can do it either way as long as your posture is perfect. So let's show them just, you know, because we have a little time here, let's show them both. Let's show them first with the knee on the bench. So you're going to have, yeah, you're going to have one knee on the bench, good. And literally what you're going to do, let me show you, because this, this is interesting. You have this knee on the bench, and then you're going to be lifting up here, okay? So whatever side you prefer, good. All right. Now, the first part of this motion, Katie, is literally from a stable back position and neutral spine, so there's a slight arch in the back, good. You're going to move your scapula first. Your shoulder blade moves first, so that's, the, there you go, good. And then you literally just draw that weight up, and that's it, right there. You don't have to go beyond that. Good, and then back down, good. And lift up again, good, excellent. Now, go ahead and don't, don't be afraid to keep that weight in close to your body, you're okay. There you go, beautiful. And you as a personal trainer, if you just touch the scapula, that helps her to maintain that perfect form and realizing that the movement starts from here. You'll see some people in the gym grabbing a huge weight and just tearing it up and literally, they're causing torsion to their spine, and that's why they don't last very long in their weight room, because they get hurt. So your goal is to keep your clients safe, just as Katie's doing. Now, Katie, we're gonna show them the alternate method of doing this, and so we'll place the weight here, and why don't you just you know, step behind on this side, and so you'll be lifting like this, and again, what I'm looking for as a personal trainer is making sure her knees are bent, both knees, and she's gonna have her weight supported and her neutral spine here, and then again, the first movement is from the scapula. Good, and then it's elbow up, excellent. And again, here we're looking for a full range of motion, but we always have to be careful of people trying to get a little too much torsion in there, but Katie's doing it beautifully. So this is working the latissimus dorsi, the upper back area, extremely important. And women in particular need to also work another muscle group, and Katie, let's talk about that one right now. There's a muscle group that holds your shoulders back, all right? That muscle group is between your shoulder blades, and it's called your rhomboids. And a lot of folks just neglect it. You know, they, they walk around, and they can do a lot of bench exercises for strength, but then their back is weak, and so they don't have that retraction of the shoulder blades. So we're not going to even use weights for this, Katie. We're just going to grab this, uh, just the uh, straps here, and here, Here's how we're going to do it. You're going to hold, and as your personal trainer, I'm going to one, and I, I'm taking a chance here because if you let go, I'm in trouble, all right? So I'm going to hold it. I'm going to hold it. And you're literally going to just bring your scapula back. You're going to retract your scapula on each movement. So your movement starts from back here again. And I'm going to provide enough resistance so that then she can get the workout. So it's pulling good. And that's, I'm going to pull back a little bit right about here, and then lead with that scapula, good. And you can literally hook this on uh, some apparatus in the gym, just making sure that it's not gonna go away, and then you can correct the scapular adjustment if necessary, good. So you could literally do these rows, which are parallel. You could do low rows, so you, you keep your knees slightly bent, and you would be pulling up so it's innervating a slightly different angle, and then you could do high rows as well, which you'd feel the difference at all different angles, innervating different muscles and different patterns. An interesting point, Katie. A lot of people in the gym will waste time. They'll be, you know, trying to do biceps curls like this, this, and you know, all different ways when there's really one best way to do it. And it's the same with every exercise. So if your client only had time to do it one way, then wouldn't it be better to do it the best way so that they're not wasting time with others? So we're going to show you the best way to do the exercise, then we're going to show you the alternate ways as well. So